Hi guys, in this video I want to answer a question that I've been getting a lot during the last couple of weeks and that question is, do I prefer the Laowa 60mm 2x ultra macro lens or the Laowa 100mm 2x macro lens? Or do I prefer any other lens on the market? Which is my favorite macro lens overall right now? And the answer, as you might have guessed, you're seeing in the footage that you're looking at right now and also in the title of this video. The Laowa 60mm 2x ultra macro lens is my favorite right now. I like it mostly because it is very small and lightweight. It has a comparable image quality if you compare it with the 100mm. And basically all the other macro lenses on the market, they go away because they only go to 1x magnification. And it is so much more fun to shoot at 2x magnification, if you ask me. Especially if you're shooting insects, uh, 2x makes the insect cover uh, a big part of the frame. And at 1x, uh, the insect is basically just like in the corner or something. It doesn't really cover much of the frame. So 2x magnification is definitely something you want to have if you're planning to photograph insects or small bugs. The build quality of this lens is uh, pretty fine. It's not like excellent. It is pretty good though. But if you're looking for super nice build quality, you could look at the 100mm from Laowa. The build quality on that one is better than on the 60mm. But the Laowa 60mm is more small and lightweight. Uh, you don't get that tiredness in your arm that you get when you walk around with a 100mm for a while. I like small and lightweight lenses and uh, this one is uh, very small and lightweight. Especially for what it can do. A drawback with this lens is uh, that if you do focus to infinity you will get very heavy vignetting on a full frame camera because this lens is actually made for APS-C cameras. Uh, but as long as you're shooting most of your stuff on only like up to two or three meters distance you will not, not have any vignetting problems at all. And I very seldom shoot at infinity. I mostly use this lens for macro and for portraits and for that it is actually excellent. These are a couple of portraits of my beautiful wife Jenny that I took in Boden and uh, they have no vignetting and they are super sharp and the colors are nice. So this lens is very very good all round. Uh, the reason I prefer this lens over the 2.5 to 5x from Lova or the 1x to 5x from Canon is that when you're able to focus uh, to infinity or at least to 2 or 3 meters uh, you will be able to shoot butterflies and flowers and animals and other things you might encounter on your photo walk. And uh, I mean, if you're out walking with a 2.5 to 5x ultra macro lens and you see a beautiful butterfly, you will not be able to capture the whole butterfly because 2.5x is basically like the butterfly's head or something like that. Which is nice to photograph in some cases, but not always. So these are my thoughts on what macro lens I prefer right now. I really love the 6mm from Lova. Uh, another good thing with it is that it is reasonably priced, around $400. I think that's a pretty good price for what you get. The images are beautiful, uh, it is sharp on all apertures. The only problem optically with this lens is perhaps that it is uh, uh, not distortion free, but as long as you're not uh, photographing like Lego bricks, you will not have much of a problem with that. It's not something I ever notice or think about at least. Anyways, um, another tip in general when it comes to walking around freehand macro photography as I was doing here in Boden on these photos you see here, is that when you approach an insect, the biggest risk is always that it just flies away or jumps away. So a good thing to do is to begin by shooting at a bit of a distance, maybe 20 or 30 centimeters, secure a few shots of the insect in case it will later jump away and then move in closer very very slowly while you take more and more shots. Basically begin with taking the safer shots where you have some distance to the insect. Because most insects will jump away or fly away, then at least you will have secured a few good shots. And then you're moving closer and closer and closer until you're at like 2x magnification. 
and if the insect hasn't flown away or jumped away by then, you have someone who's really willing to cooperate and then you can use that to your advantage by trying a lot of different angles and trying to get the light perfect and uh, maybe try to have some of the sky in the background that usually makes for a very beautiful insect shot. Uh, that's a, just a small tip, uh, do not take the close-up shot immediately, begin from a bit of a distance and then work your way closer and closer uh, to the insect. Yeah, that's basically it for this little video. Uh, I was up in Boden for a week and uh, this is very very far up north but it was super warm and it was a lot of insects there, maybe even more insects than in Kew Gardens in London, so it was great. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my photography newsletter. It is packed with inspiration, tips about gear, all the things that I didn't have time to include in any YouTube videos during the month. It comes out once a month, you sign up at mwroll.com. It is completely free, uh, so please go enjoy it at mwroll.com. And please give me a like on this video. Did you like this video? Please give me a thumbs up, it helps this channel a lot. And by now I really hope that you have subscribed. If you watched a few of my videos you know that they come out every week. So do subscribe. And also please check out my Instagram account. More of my photos can be found at mwroll on Instagram. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Over and out. Bye.